Hello Year 9 and 10, I asked you to do a, an 8 mark um, exam question and send it to me uh, on a compare question which is one you will always get in the exam. So this is very very quickly, I'm just going to tell you how I would approach this question and show you an answer so you get some of the idea of the principles behind answering this. So the question was compare public health in a medieval town with public health in a medieval monastery. Now normally with a question like this you'd be asked to compare across different time periods, so maybe the medieval period with the 19th century, but because we haven't studied that there, this question is just about the medieval period. So that's the question, it's eight marks. How long should you spend on an eight mark question? Ten minutes really, not much more than that. Okay, it does give you a few ideas of things you can talk about. Um, let's have a look at um, the mark scheme and what I would do if I had a question like this. So, um, 10 minutes, two or three paragraphs. You, it says they'll ask for similarities, but it could ask for differences as well. So similarities and differences. Right, let's establish. Everyone is going to get a copy of this. I will email it to you um, or I'll send it via um, Teams. But... Um, I'm just going to show you my thinking so you know why I've written it like this so you're clear. Hopefully you can see one, two, three paragraphs, okay? The thing you are trying to do is you're trying, if possible, to look for at least one similarity, ideally two similarities, or in this case is differences, and then possibly some sort of summary which links the two together. So here's my first one. Um, one factor, okay, and you'll get this in colour, I don't have a colour printer, but you'll see it in colour. So, this factor, one way in which monasteries were different from towns in medieval England was that monasteries were generally built a long way from busy areas, whereas towns were full of people. Hopefully that's clear that that's my, I'm now going to talk about that, that's my factor that shows difference. This meant that public health in monasteries was better because the water they used was less likely to be polluted with other people's waste. It could be taken from clear rivers, clean rivers or clear rivers, whereas people in towns were often washing, drinking and disposing of their waste in the same water source, which could lead to the spread of disease. Forgive the typos, I, I'm obviously having to um, sort of type these out and there might be the odd mistake, but I think you get the point. Okay, what I've done is I've shown a difference, I've explained why it's different and its effect on public health and I've, I've given some evidence to show um, how that's different. Then I've done another factor there. Um, I won't read the whole of it, but I've just put another key difference was that most people in towns were quite poor and could not afford good facilities to keep themselves clean, whereas monasteries were usually built with excellent washing facilities. And then again, I've done the same thing. I've used some evidence and I've explained why it would lead to better public health in monasteries. And then my final paragraph is simply, overall monasteries are much healthier places to live because of where and how they were constructed. So my link is I'm saying it's all about, you know, the, the actual construction of the building, where it was and how it was constructed. That's my link. That's the two. I've talked about two things and I've showed a connection between them. Now, there are lots of other things you could have talked about. For example, you could have talked about the fact that monks were better educated in monasteries, whereas most people in the town weren't, so they had less idea about sanitation. So you don't have to talk about the things I talked about, but the principle is two factors if possible, some sort of summary paragraph at the end if you can. Okay, well done uh, for those who have sent me that. Thank you very much.